This video demonstrates the use of a superiorly based nasolabial flap for intraoral reconstruction. This patient is a known case of Steven Johnson syndrome presented to us with a defect in the left maxilla. It was a complication of the donor tooth harvest for the OOKP procedure. The plan was upper circus flap for lining and nasolabial flap for cover. Now these are the, these are the markings of the flap. Uh, you can appreciate that uh, the distal edge of the flap is uh, near the angle of the commissure, almost 2 to 3 centimeters beyond that. And the base of the flap is kept at the level of the nasal ala. Now, this is the flap being harvested. Since this flap is to be used for intraoral reconstruction, it is islanded and based on a subcutaneous and then it is sutured. Now this is pre-op and post-op images of a well set.